you've already thought of this too, that Kenneth Lee did so many different things, which I think is one of the reasons that um, it's in some ways, uh, how do I say it? Um, it? It's, she hasn't had that moment where people are like, oh, we know what she's doing. We're getting exactly what we want from her. She's easy to categorize. Right. Um, and, and that creates problems for writers, right? Because publishers are like, I don't know what you're going to do next. So. And I, I think it also, I think it was um, the other part of it is honestly that I, there's more, I think there's more space now for people to move a little bit than there was then, you know, yeah. even though it's not unfettered movement wherever you want to go, I think you can do, you know, interstitial or tying different kinds of, of genres together. No one blinks an eye, you know, and yeah. then when, when she was doing it, I, it, it, at least for me, I, I didn't know it as a teenager. I wasn't analyzing it. I was just enthralled by it. You know, yeah. like it's, it's, it felt more organically real than sticking with a specific, because it, it was like you were being, the story was ruled by the author's imagination rather than the yeah. parameters of a specific subgenre. And know. her imagination kind of went everywhere. I was teaching a story of hers once. I don't remember the name now, but it was, it starts as a Beauty and the Beast story. And then you realize that it's a science fiction story. And so yeah. it just, she, she Was sort it of the electric crossed those point? boundaries very easily. Yeah, I, I ha one of my favorites of hers, it's not considered like a top 10 Tanith Lee, but it's The Electric Forest. And it was because it felt like one kind of story. And then, it, which was a very dark, erotic, um, psychological story. And then in the end, it, it turns out it was actually a, a book ended it, science fiction story that was the characters weren't at all who you thought they were and you land in a different place than you expect. But you had that very Tanith, as you call it, um, dark romanticism mm -hmm. mixed in with science fiction. And it, it sort of it worked for me. Absolutely. But it was not normal. That that has to go on my reading list. I don't think I've read it, um, but but it, it's an interesting observation because you look at, oh, well, you can't you can't categorically say it of someone like Le Guin, but it it might be a little bit easier to say she mixed it up to a little bit, but um, there are certain things that are pretty clearly science fiction. And certain things mm -hmm. that are pretty clearly fantasy, but she mixes it up too. But she kind of does it in a different way. And Anne McCaffrey too. You read the Pern series, and then you're like, "Oh, it's science fiction. I didn't know it was science fiction." So now I'm completely revising what I just said because now it seems to me, I don't know if this is fair to say, but the um, those three writers, those women writers, were constantly crossing boundaries. Yeah in a way that a lot of other writers didn't. I think it may have to do with the fact that, um, well, maybe I'm wrong, but something about the fact that they are, they have to work so hard to make their space for themselves yeah. that, that it makes, I, I imagine it makes you more time, you must be really driven by your work in order to actually do that, you know? Like there, I'm sure there were other authors who, were very good and could write, but um, you're sort of like you, by being somewhat isolated within yourself, I, I expect you, um, you're already going against the, the, the stream by trying to publish as a woman at the time. Yeah. And then, so why do you care what the stream is saying about what you can and can't do? No. Does that make sense at all? Uh, it does make sense. And also, um... There were periods when she really couldn't publish, uh, when she was having difficulty publishing and she just kept writing. So I think part of it is, I'm just guessing, but I think part of it is that some people just need to write. They're just full of stories. And she strikes me as someone who is full of stories. Mm -hmm.